<clears throat> Hi all you YouTubers, beautiful, amazing, wonderful, gorgeous, strong, healthy, uh, natural people out there uh, in this world. Um, this little video is uh, just uh, something I got this morning that I want to share with you. And I felt it was very powerful and it's about the subject of our children not wanting to see us. And um, I made a video, I've made one video about this <coughs> problem and uh, a few people have reacted and, uh, and it's very, it's a big honour for me to be able to help people uh, who are in this uh, painful situation. And um, apparently, well, uh, as uh, you see around you, uh, there are many people uh, who are in this right now. <clears throat> and uh, this morning, I, I sort of saw it all in a, in a much clearer light or in a, in a new way. It was like a beautiful, uh, well, a beautiful gift I was given. And uh, what I was told was that what it was that it is actually a very beautiful thing that is happening. That uh, when our children say they don't want to see us, in our old way of thinking and the way we're used to being and reacting, we feel this is wrong. And we have all these enormous uh, reactions that are negative. And uh, the last video I made was very much about <clears throat> about how to how to cope with it. To say, okay, right, this is a problem I have. It's very painful for me, and uh, I don't know how it's gonna how long it's gonna go on for. Uh, and I'm gonna try to work out how I can live with it. Uh, now, this new realization has brought me a step forward and I, I hope very much that that you feel the same um, or maybe just have a think about this or feel about it and see whether it resonates with you but I really feel that that um, uh, what I'm being told is that this is not painful it is actually very beautiful what is happening um, and it's because it's necessary for our children uh, to, to, to create their own life. And it's actually a gift that we're being given. Uh, so, and I think it has very much to do with the, the new world or the new way of living that we're all moving into and which I don't know what is. I, all I know is that it's very beautiful, that <laughs> the world is going to turn into a very, very beautiful place where where love uh, is the energy that uh, makes everything work and, and it's, it's going to be the, f the foundation of everything. It's going to be love and not a sort of sugar sweet love where everybody uh, runs around kissing and hugging each other and having a good time. It's just this really beautiful, peaceful, powerful, godlike uh, energy. Uh, well, it's really divine presence that's going to be everywhere. And we are going to be uh, get all our wisdom, everything we do, we're going to get from this beautiful divine place. So we're going to be uh, very enlightened people, I think. And um, moving into this new age or new way of being, it is actually very necessary for our children to, to cut the cord, to, to cut the umbilical cord and to really say, stop. I don't want to see you, don't want to call you. Uh, I need space. <clears throat> and my children, they're living very close to me and I never hear, well, <laughs> one of them I do hear from I have a little bit of contact with. Uh, and I sometimes also make the contact myself, but it's very, very little. Uh, and the three others, there's no contact whatsoever. Uh, uh, or one, there's a, there's a, a little SMS sometimes, <clears throat> and we will answer that. Uh, 
and so far I've really been been feeling okay this is this is really hard this is really horrible uh, I know I'm going to get through this I'm just going to have to cope with it but now with this new way of seeing uh, seeing it I actually feel this huge gratitude towards my children and I suddenly felt in a way I felt they were wiser than me because they're actually trying to tell me mum this is really the right way to do it this is very important for me uh, so please let me go and uh, because and the reason why they need they need this space is that uh, I got this picture of the sourdough that uh, <coughs> our children were really when they're grown up they're not our children anymore you can call them our offspring the people that we've brought into this earth they're not children anymore and in Danish you say this is my children but they're not children when when they're 18 they're not children anymore so they're our offspring and all these offspring you can see is a sourdough that you t take from it's a very simple picture you have this sourdough uh, dough and you take off uh, these lumps of sourdough which you can make a new bread with and the bread that you make will be more or less identical to the original bread and now our children or offspring don't want to make uh, the same bread that we are they, they have to, um, to to really form their own sourdough to become who they really are and I also saw another picture that, that when they leave us uh, they leave home it's in a way uh, it's like an open they have this open skin it's like a like a very sensitive or or like sores on their skin and not because we've been horrible parents but just because they were so attached to us and when you detach and and you go off you have this sort of very sensitive skin and what they need to do is to grow really strong skin to have a really strong surface around them and to really have the feeling that this is me this is my life this is what I feel this is what's true to me and this is what I want to do with my life and that whole process can maybe take 20 years you don't know it might take one year um, so I feel quite humbled this morning uh, from this message that uh, my children are trying to teach me something and that is that this is actually very healthy and very beautiful and to stop to leave my old way of, of seeing it and to step into this new way of seeing it that it is good and it is healthy and one day when I meet my children again there will be a very new and very beautiful energy between us because they will be whole as whole as you can get on this earth <laughs> they will really feel whole and I will feel whole and when we meet there will be a huge humility I, I think I, I hope <laughs> I sense this that there will be a very huge humility and we will feel very much that we are two separate unique human beings and we're not attached in, in any unhealthy way we came from the same place but we are each of us whole and um, uh, unique um, beautifully um, uh, with beautiful boundaries a human being uh, and the little meetings there will be will be treasured so much so it will be it will feel sacred it won't just be be being together going shopping doing things all the time and sort of more or less uh, melting together again it will be much finer I think and the other thing that is so uh, wonderful about this uh, the children leaving us this way or this space that's created is that we are given the time to really sort ourselves out and many of us I know from myself have huge issues from our own childhood lots of pain lots of things with our bodies and 
well, I feel that myself, wow, what an opportunity I've been given. Because if my children rang me every second day telling me about their problems, I would have so much energy in that because you can't help it when you're a mother. You just can't help thinking about it. But the fact that they're not contacting me gives me all this space to take care of myself and to really uh, get well uh, in my body, mind and soul. So uh, I don't wish to sort of force this on you. Uh, I hope this, can, this will inspire you some way or the other where you are in your life right now. Uh, and the feelings we have, we, we mustn't uh, uh, just run away from. So, but I hope that this uh, could, could help you in your, your journey. Um, so I wish all <clears throat> God's blessings over you and over your children and the whole process that you are in. So see you soon. I just want to add something to this video. Uh, I was talking about uh, this new time that we're going into on the earth and uh, you might not believe it. Uh, I believe it. I believe that we're going to, we, we're moving into a new period. And um, I was very inspired by a woman uh, called Diana Cooper uh, recently and I bought some of her books. And she is uh, works with angels and had a. I mean, she's a <laughs> an expert and but also a very uh, I think highly evolved uh, human being, but uh, also a very uh, earthy being and very natural. Um, and uh, she has a, a, a wonderful story and has so much to share. Um, and one of her books, um, which I think is, is the best I have read uh, so far and has given me so much courage and um, encouragement uh, for all that's, that is to come. And this is the book. It's called uh, Birthing a New Civilization, Transitions to the New Golden Age in 2032. And uh, you might believe it, you might not believe it, but um, she, she, uh, has, um, she has a beautiful part in this about how you practically can, can uh, prepare yourself for this new period. And it is, it is uh, really practical, but, but very, very intelligent, what she says. Um, uh, I'll just read a few of these. How to live in the, she calls it the fifth dimension, which is... Uh, when you have let go of all the negativity in your life and you can really live in, in, a, in a love energy. Um, she says, treat others as you would like them to treat you. Do things that are for your highest good. Keep your heart open. Prioritize your life so that you have more leisure. Treat things lightly so that you enjoy fun and laughter. Surround yourself with high frequency people. And she actually says uh, about moving away from people who you can feel are taxing you and that you have to do this uh, in order to really uh, heal yourself. And this is very much, I think, in the line of what we were talking about with that uh, children leaving us or being rejected, people leaving us out of our life. Um, I'll just continue. Keep your home in the vibration of the fifth dimension, which means making sure you have beauty around you, emanate a vibration which attracts work that satisfies you, live with abundance consciousness, live as a master, and I think these words are wonderful, always act with integrity, honor, and responsibility. And the next one, connect constantly with your earth star chakra, which uh, through, your, um, through your connection with the earth, and apparently we have these 12 chakras and the the first chakra is the one under our feet and that really grounds us. Have a symbiotic relationship with plants, trees and all of nature. She talks a lot about loving nature and loving the animals, how important it is. Walk with the elemental, elementals, angels and spirit world. Listen to, to divine promptings. Eat appropriate food. Have a spiritual attitude to all things. Radiate wisdom from your solar plexus. And she talks about working with the 12 chakras. 
and remember that you are part of oneness. So I think I'll finish here. Um, so and and what you can do uh, where she's she's more direct about uh, the parent-child relationship is I found a video on YouTube uh, with L uh, Lilo Mace uh, who does the juicy uh, European tour, uh, tour and she talks to her on Skype and here uh, Diana Cooper mentions how uh, people who are really evolving are, do, are going through a huge cleansing process and part of it is to um, to really uh, cleanse your relationship to your parents. So I think uh, the ones of us who are experiencing this with our children, these children are really, really sorting themselves out. Um, so that was just a little extra thing for this video um, that um, people out there in the world are talking about that we are moving into something very beautiful. So bless you and take care.